Well, I'm here um, really talking about the future of healthcare and education and how we use technology to transform the lives of many people around the world. And that's kind of my remit for being here and giving some keynotes at Arab Health. A few years ago, I did some live surgery in virtual reality to reach about 55,000 people across the globe in 142 countries. Just showing the power of technology, if it's used the right way, can democratize healthcare and education. And we should think about scaling up education to teach a lot more people than just one or two in front of you. This is the kind of greatest time to be alive in medicine. So many great things happening. We've seen the convergence of technologies like augmented reality, virtual reality, and other kind of technologies converging to get the same point in time to impact mankind in a way that we've never seen before. So healthcare will be more equitable, more affordable, more accessible because of high tech but low cost solutions that are gonna transform our world. I've seen some amazing technology here. It's been so exciting. So many people talking about disrupting healthcare for the better. We've seen a great stand on artificial intelligence, new ways of thinking about how we diagnose people. I've seen some diagnostics that are kind of new using different interfaces. Ethics are being smaller and smaller and smaller, but much more powerful. So we now have all the tools in our, in our box, if you like, to make healthcare more accessible. Arab Health is unique in the sense it brings so many people together, tens of thousands of people, all with the same mission in mind. How do we change healthcare? How do we improve healthcare? And so when you walk around Arab Health, you're meeting the most amazing minds from around the world and discussing the potential future of mankind. And that's just so amazing to be around.